In this video, we are going to take a look at how you can add optical flares or lens flares to any kind of lighting source inside of DaVinci Resolve. You can use this VFX technique on your video footage and make your videos more professional. Hey guys, this is Vikas from Skyline Motions and without any further ado, let's take a new project and get started. So here we are in the edit page of DaVinci Resolve and before we get started, if you are watching this video first time on this channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification for more interesting videos and also hit the like button for this video. And now let's jump into the media pool. So this is the media pool window. If you don't have the media pool window, you can click on the media pool. Right click on the media pool, click on the import media and select your video clip. So in this case, I'm using this video clip and click on open. Let me tell you all the video clip that I am using in this project is downloaded from pixels.com and I will give you a link in the description. So just go to the link and download this type of video clip for practice and then let's drag the video clip on the timeline by simply dragging like this. And then we have to select the best part of the video clip. So in this case I am using the video clip from here. So select the blade tool, add a cut just like that. Select the move tool and delete the unwanted part by hitting backspace. Now I'm going to keep the video clip 15 seconds long. I'm going to add a cut over here as well, just like that. And then you can hit the backspace to delete the unwanted part. And now we have the perfect video clip where we're going to add the lens flare over here and over here. So what we have to do just right click on this uh, video clip click on new fusion clip just select the fusion clip place the cdi on it and go to the uh, fusion page over here we have the media in and media out so let's disconnect the uh, media in and out drag the media in to the viewer maybe in the second viewer and for this one we need only one viewer so you can click on the single viewer and make it single you can close the effect window as well and now you can increase the preview window after that i'm gonna add some color corrector for this footage because it's not looking good so select the, the media in click on the cc button for color corrector drag the color corrector to the viewer and here we have the contrast so let's increase the color contrast and set the value maybe 1.6 maybe go to the red channel and let's increase the contrast value a little bit so i'm gonna set the value maybe 1.2 and now it is looking like this after that we have to increase the uh, saturation so let's set the saturation value 2.0 and after that we have to add lens flare on it so that's very simple select the color vector the main output hit control plus a space bar for search box and search for tracker so this is the tracker hit add button drag the tracker to the viewer and this is the tracker as you can see so just go to the end of this animation either you can go to the end of this animation or you can go to the very first frame after that select the point and place the tracker on the headlight the first headlight over here hit control and scroll up to zoom in and this is the action area so you can set the action area size just like that and this is the search area so you can keep the search area just like that and you can keep the action area maybe little smaller and we have to do one more very important step just go to the uh, inspector window and here we have the adaptive mode so select the based match and we have to increase the match tolerance so let's set the match tolerance something around 1.0 perfect and then you can track in the backward direction because we are currently at the end of the timeline so we have to track in backward direction so here we have the track backward option you can click on the button and now it is tracking perfect now we have the uh, perfect tracking data all right and we have to do the same thing for the second headlight so just go to the end of this animation and we need to add one more tracker for the second headlight so select the tracker one hit control plus a spacebar for search box and search for tracker add one more tracker and drag it to the viewer select the second tracker and find the uh, tracking point so this is the um, 
tracking system let's drag and drop on the tracking point so you can hold control and scroll up to zoom in set the tracking tool on this tracking area just like that and you can make the uh, action area a little bit smaller and searching area maybe bigger than the action area just like that and then go to the adaptive mode set it to best match go to the match tolerance and set the value maybe 1.0 perfect and then you can track in the backward direction perfect so we have two different tracking data you can click on fit button now and as you can see we have a tracker one and the tracker two and both have different tracking data for the both headlights and now we have to attach the lens flare so for the lens flare we have two different options the first one is fusion preset and the second one is third party plugin so in this case i'm using a third party plugin called lens master flare from learnnowfx.com and i will give you a link in the description for that so you can go to the link in the description and download the plugin and once you have installed the plugin inside of your davinci resolve you can simply search by holding control plus a space bar on the keyboard and you can search for lens master flare so it is one of the best lens flare plugin for davinci resolve and you can do the professional work with it so here we have the lens master flare select the lens master flare hit add button all right and inside of the lens master flare we have so many different type of options so the first option is for open preset builder so we have the uh, preset builder window we have all the necessary assets over here so you can build your preset by yourself and save it as a preset and browse your custom preset from here but if you don't want to create your own preset then we have one more option which is the a browse preset and click on the browse preset button and here we have so many different type of lens flares inside of the utility section we have the uh, flashlight headlight this kind of uh, uh, lens flares and we have the sci-fi which is my favorite so inside of the sci-fi preset we have so many different type of uh, lens flares like bionic laser beam jarvis engine and finally we have the magical lens flare where we have the so many different type of magical lens flares so in this case i am using the uh, sci-fi uh, section so inside of the sci-fi section we have the jarvis lens flare so you only have to click on the uh, jarvis one single click just like that and we will get the jarvis preset over here now you can close the uh, preset browser perfect and we don't need to connect the jarvis with the lens master flare just disconnect this but let me tell you if you don't have the plugin and still you want to create uh, the lens flare on these uh, cars headlight or something else so you have one more option which is the uh, fusion preset so just keep the jarvis and the lens master flare node in the side and let me show you the fusion preset first this is the effect section you can click on that and here we have the template so you can click on the templates open the template folder inside of the template folder we have the fusion and inside of the fusion we have the lens flares you can click on the lens flares folder and here we have so many different type of lens flares let me show you one of the lens flare from this uh, fusion preset so this is the lens flare version 29 let's drag and drop on the flow window you can connect the output of the uh, lens flare with the tracker one just like that and then you can drag the uh, lens flare on the preview window but we don't have anything on the screen because we need a background for this so this is the uh, normal background let's drag and drop on the flow window and again this is the black background so we have to connect the background with the lens flare and now you can see the effect now let's apply the lens flare on the car footage so select the tracker one go to the operation and here we have the operation so just go to the match move and you can set the merge foreground over background and you can go to the apply mode so either you can change the apply mode from here and drag the tracker to the viewer and you will get the uh, lens flare like this and 
after that you can place the uh, lens flare on the headlight which is looking again looking like this or you can also do one more thing just select the tracker one you can keep the apply mode maybe normal and select the black background and make it transparent by setting the alpha value zero so we have two options over here all right and as you can see we have a very weird output and definitely it is not a professional job so what we have to do we have to use the third party plugin for that reason so i'm going to delete the fusion lens flare by hitting delete button on the keyboard you can disconnect this and you can close the effect because you can't use any lens flare for this type of job all the lens flares i have tried is very weird so you can close the effect panel and now we have to use the um, third party plugin which is the Jarvis again we need a background so this is the uh, transparent background you can connect the transparent background by setting the alpha value 0 or you can also set the uh, apply mode normal to screen and then you can connect the output of this uh, Jarvis preset with the tracker 1 select the tracker and make sure you have selected the operation match move a merge foreground over background and you can set the apply mode maybe screen mode or something and then you can drag the tracker one to the viewer select the uh, Jarvis preset you can place the lens flare on the headlight so just go to the end of this animation place the uh, preset over here just like that and we will get this type of output which is looking nice now select the Jarvis and you can increase the size a little bit so I'm gonna set the global size maybe 1.1 or you can also increase the value maybe 1.5 or something but go to the very first frame hit control and scroll up to zoom in you can place it over here but we have to decrease the size and maybe set the value maybe 1.1 which is good now it is looking perfect you can click on fit button so we have the first light now we have to do one more thing which is very important select the tracker and here we have the edges so to avoid the uh, sharp edges you can set the edges maybe duplicate now it is gone perfect and then we have to add one more light for this so what we have to do again we have to browse one more preset so this is the lens master flare select the lens master flare go to browse preset and in this case you can use any different preset but i'm going to use the same preset which is the jarvis so click on the jarvis and now we have one more jarvis uh, preset and then you can delete the lens master flare one and here we have the preset you can simply connect the Jarvis with the second tracker for the second headlight and this is the background point so connect the yellow background point with the background one and now you can drag the tracker 2 to the viewer all right and select the tracker 2 do the same thing just go to the operation go to the operation and set it to match move set the merge foreground over background apply mode normal or maybe a screen you can set the as is maybe mirror or duplicate perfect and then select the Jarvis go to the end of this animation and place the second light over here just like that and then you can see the effect which is looking more professional and absolutely perfect for this kind of job all right and then you can add the uh, color corrector just after the main output so you can drag and drop the color corrector and connect the main output with the color corrector drag the color corrector to the viewer and increase the saturation a little bit so i'm going to set the value maybe uh, 1.35 and now it is almost done so we have to connect the color corrector with the media out and then go to the edit page we have to do one more thing we have to add the output blanking so just go to the timeline go to output blanking and set the ratio 2.35 and we will get the cinematic look which is looking absolutely perfect just turn on the loop button and let's have a look
so as you can see it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial i hope you guys like it if you like it then hit the subscribe button turn on the bell notification for more interesting videos my name is vikas and i will see you in the next one till then bye bye